I besought El Yahuwah at that time, saying, O Adonai Yahuwah, you have begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what El is there in the heavens or in earth that can do according to your works and according to your might? I pray you, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond the Ardan, that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But Yahuwah was wroth with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And Yahuwah said unto me, Let it suffice you. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Get you up into the top of Pigah, and lift up your eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and behold it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Yardan, but charge Yahusha, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which you shall see. So we abode in the valley over against Beit Peor. Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Now therefore hearken, O Yashrael, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live, and go in and possess the land which Yahweh Elohai of your fathers gives you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may guard the commandments of Yahuwah Elohaikim, which I command you. Your eyes have seen what Yahuwah did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed Baal Peor, Yahuwah Elohaikim, has destroyed them from among you. But ye that did cleave unto Yahuwah Elohaikim are alive every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you commandments and judgments even as Yahweh Elohai commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Guard therefore, and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great, who has Elohim so nigh unto them, as Yahweh Eloheinu is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that has commandments and judgments so righteous as all this Torah, which I set before you this day? Only take heed to yourself and guard your soul diligently, lest you forget the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. But teach them to your sons and your sons' sons, especially the day that you stood before Yahweh Elohaika in Horeb, when Yahweh said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. And he came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And Yahuwah spoke unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude. Only ye heard a voice, and he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform even ten debarim. And he wrote them upon two sapphire stones. And Yahuwah commanded me at that time to teach you commandments and judgments, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go over to possess it. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that Yahuwah spoke unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire, lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And lest you lift up your eyes unto heaven, and when you see the sun, and the moon, and the stars, even all the host of heaven, should be driven to worship them, and serve them, which Yahuwah el has divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. But Yahuwah has taken you, and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Mitzrayim, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day. Furthermore, Yahuwah was angry with me for your sakes, and swore that I should not go over the Yardan, and that I should not go in unto the good land, which Yahuwah gives you for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over the Yardan, but ye shall go over. 
and possess that good land. Take heed unto yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of Yahuwah Elohim, which he cut with you, and make you a graven image or the likeness of anything which Yahuwah Elohim has forbidden you. For Yahuwah Elohim is a consuming fire, even a jealous El. When ye shall beget children, and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, and make a graven image, or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of Yahuwah Elohim, to provoke him to anger. I call the heavens and the earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land, whereinto ye go over the Yardan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither Yahuwah shall lead you. And there ye shall serve Elohim, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But if from thence you shall seek Yahuwah Elohim, you shall find him. If you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul, when you are in tribulation and all these things are come upon you, even in the latter days, if you turn to Yahuwah Elohim and shall be obedient unto his voice, for Yahuwah Elohim is a merciful El, he will not forsake you, neither destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore unto them. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that Elohim created man upon the earth, and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other, whether there has been any such thing as this great thing is, or has been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire as you have heard and live? Or has Elohim essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that Yahuwah Elohim did for you in Mitzrayim, before your eyes? Unto you it was showed, that you might know that Yahuwah, he is Elohim, there is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made you to hear his voice that he might instruct you, and upon earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought you out in his sight with his mighty power out of Mitzrayim, to drive out nations from before you, greater and mightier than you are, to bring you in, to give you their land for an inheritance, as it is this day. Know therefore this day, and consider it in your heart, that Yahuwah, He is Elohim in heaven above, and upon the earth beneath there is none else. You shall guard therefore His statutes, and His commandments, which I command you this day, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days upon the earth, which Yahuwah Elohim gives you forever. Then Moshe severed three cities on this side of the Yardan toward the sun rising, that the slayer might flee thither, which should kill his neighbor unawares, and hated him not in times past, and that fleeing unto one of these cities he might live, namely Betzer in the wilderness, in the plain country of the Reuvenim, and Ramoth in Gilead of the Gadim, and Golan in Bashan of the Menashim, and this is the Torah which Moshe set before the children of Yashrael. These are the testimonies, and the statutes, and the judgments which Moshe spoke unto the children of Yashrael after they came forth out of Mitzrayim. On this side of the Yardan, in the valley over against Beit Peor, in the land of Sihon, king of the Emorim, who dwelt at Heshbon, whom Moshe and the children of Yashrael smote after they were come forth out of Mitzrayim. And they possessed his land, and the land of Og king of Bashan, two kings of the Emorim, which were on this side of the Yardan toward the sun rising. From Aroer, which is by the bank of the river Arnon, even unto Mount Sihon, which is Hermon, and all the plain on this side of the Yardan eastward, even unto the sea of the plain, under the springs of Pitka. Devarim, 
Deuteronomy chapter 5. And Moshe called all Yashrael, and said unto them, Hear, O Yashrael, the commandments and the judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them, guard them, and do them. Yahweh Eloheinu cut a covenant with us in Horeb. Yahweh cut not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. Yahweh talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. I stood between Yahuwah and you at that time to show you the word of Yahuwah, for ye were afraid by reason of the fire, and went not up into the mount, saying, I am Yahuwah Elohaika, which brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage. You shall have no other Elohim before me. You shall not make you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow down yourself unto them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh Elohaika, am a jealous El, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and guard my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yahuwah Elohaika in vain, for Yahuwah will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. Guard the day of the Shabbat, to sanctify it as Yahuwah Elohaika has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Shabbat of Yahuwah Elohaika. In it you shall not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your ox, nor your ass, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates, that your manservant and your maidservant may rest as well as you. And remember that you were a servant in the land of Mitzrayim, and that Yahweh Elohaika brought you out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore, Yahweh Elohaika commanded you to observe the day of Shabbat. Honor your father and your mother, as Yahuwah Elohaika has commanded you, that your days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with you in the land which Yahuwah Elohaika gives you. You shall not murder, neither shall you commit adultery, neither shall you steal, neither shall you bear false witness against your neighbor, neither shall you lust after your neighbor's woman, neither shall you lust after your neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his ass, or anything that is your neighbor's. These words Yahuwah spoke unto all your assembly, in the mount out of the midst of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness, with a great voice. And he added no more. And he wrote them on two sapphire stones, and delivered them unto me. And it came to pass, when he heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness, for the mountain did burn with fire, that you came near unto me, even all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And he said, Behold, Yahweh Eloheinu has showed us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that Elohim talks with man, and he lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of Yahweh Eloheinu any more, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh that has heard the voice of the living Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have and lived? Go near and hear all that Yahuwah Eloheinu shall say, and speak you unto us all that Yahuwah Eloheinu shall speak unto you, and we will hear it and do it. And Yahuwah heard the voice of your words when you spoke unto me. And Yahuwah said unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken unto you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there were such a heart in them, that they would fear me, and guard all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children forever. Go say to them, Get you into your tents again. But as for you, stand here by me, and I will speak unto you all the commandments, and the statutes, and the judgments which you shall teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. Ye shall guard to do therefore as Yahweh Elohim has commanded you, Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Ye shall walk in all the ways which Yahweh Elohim has commanded you, that ye may live, and that it may be well with you, 
and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. Debarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 6. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which Yahuwah Elohim commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it, that you might fear Yahuwah Elohim to guard all his statutes and his commandments which I command you, you and your son and your son's son all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Yashrael, and guard to do it, that it may be well with you, and that ye may increase mightily, as Yahweh Elohai of your fathers has promised you, in the land that flows with milk and honey. Hear, O Yashrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh is one. And you shall love Yahweh Elohaika with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be in your heart. And you shall teach them diligently unto your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them upon the posts of your house and on your gates. And it shall be, when Yahuwah Elohaika shall have brought you into the land which he swore unto your fathers, to Avraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov, to give you great and goodly cities which you built not, and houses full of all good things which you filled not, and wells dug which you dug not, vineyards and olive trees which you planted not. When you shall have eaten and be full, then beware, lest you forget Yahuwah, which brought you forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage. You shall fear Yahuwah Elohaika and serve him, and shall swear by his name. Ye shall not go after other Elohim, of the Elohim of the people which are round about you. For Yahuwah Elohaika is a jealous El among you, lest the anger of Yahuwah Elohaika be kindled against you, and destroy you from off the face of the earth. You shall not tempt Yahuwah Elohaikim, as ye tempted him in Massah. Ye shall diligently guard the commandments of Yahuwah Elohaikim, and his testimonies, and his statutes, which he has commanded you. And you shall do that which is right and good in the sight of Yahuwah, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land which Yahuwah swore unto your fathers, to cast out all your enemies from before you, as Yahuwah has spoken. And when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What mean these testimonies, and these statutes, and the judgments, which Yahuwah Eloheinu has commanded you? Then you shall say unto your son, We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah brought us out of Mitzrayim with a mighty hand. And Yahuwah showed signs and wonders, great and sore upon Mitzrayim, upon Pharaoh, upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from thence, that he might bring us in, to give us the land which he swore unto our fathers. And Yahuwah commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear Yahuwah Eloheinu, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day. And it shall be our righteousness, if we guard to do all these commandments before Yahuwah Eloheinu, as he has commanded us. Debarim Deuteronomy chapter 7 When Yahweh Elohim shall bring you into the land whither you go to possess it, and has cast out many nations before you, the Chitim, and the Girgashim, and the Emorim, and the Kenanim, and the Perizim, and the Chivim, and the Yevusim, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahweh Elohim shall deliver them before you, you shall smite them, and utterly destroy them, you shall cut no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shall you make marriages with them. Your daughter you shall not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall you take unto your son. For they will turn away your son from following me, that they may serve other Elohim. So will the anger of Yahuwah be kindled against you and destroy you suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. 
ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their graven images with fire. For you are a holy people unto Yahuwah Elohaika. Yahuwah Elohaika has chosen you to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yahuwah did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But, because Yahuwah loved you, and because he would guard the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, has Yahuwah brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim. Know therefore, that Yahuwah Elohaika, he is Elohim, the faithful El, which guards his covenant and mercy with them that love him and guard his commandments to a thousand generations, and repays them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hates him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore guard the commandments and the statutes and the judgments, which I command you this day to do them.